Now for this part of the question then we've got to prove that cos x over 1 plus sin x plus 1 plus sin x over cos x is identical to 2 sec x. So how are we going to do that? Well first of all anyway what we should do is write down proof all right, and copy down say this left hand side. So just going to copy that down. You could actually write just LHS if you like for left hand side. Um, I personally prefer just to write the expression down so we've got that. And what is this identical to? Well we've got to get one term over here so I've got two terms so the first thing I want to do is create one term by putting it all over one denominator and that denominator will be something that these two go into which is going to be cos x multiplied by 1 plus sin x so we'll start off with that so what do I multiply the bottom here by to get this well it's cos x so I need to multiply the top by cos x so that gives me cos squared x do the same over here what do I multiply cos x by to get the denominator here? and that would be 1 plus sin x so I must do the same to the top so that's going to be 1 plus sin x all squared now where do I go from here well I'm going to expand this bracket and see what happens. Well, if we expand this, we're going to get 1 squared, which is 1. We're going to get sine x plus another sine x, that's 2 sine x. And then we're going to get the last term squared, so that's sine squared x. And that's all going to go over cos x multiplied by 1 plus sin x. Now I notice that cos squared x plus sin squared x can be grouped together. Remember that cos squared x plus sin squared x comes to 1. So we've got 1 there for that plus this 1 plus the 2 sin x all over cos x multiply by 1 plus sin x and then I can group these two together so that's 2 and then I could factorize this I've got 2 plus 2 sin x so I could pull a 2 out as a common factor so I've got 1 plus sin x now I've got one term on the top consisting of two factors and in the denominator here I've got one term also consisting of two factors. So are there any common factors? Yes, there's the 1 plus sine x. Goes into that once, goes into that once. So therefore what I've got is that it's identical to 2 divided by cos x. And 2 divided by cos x is the same as 2 times 1 over cos x or 2 times sec x. There you go, what we had to prove. So that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.